We're in Yonkazuk Stellenbosch today and we're trying to find out the answer to the big question. Which is faster, 100 millimeter bike or 120 millimeter bike? Obviously I'm talking XC and Marathon setup here. The test method, we've two flying laps of a 2.8 kilometer track. Um, 35% of that is single track. It's mildly technical single track. The kind of single track you're going to find on a typical XC Marathon uh, racetrack in South Africa. The descent is 900 meters long. The flat is 750 meters long. The climb is 1.1 k's and uh, the current com holder there is Nino Schurter. Nino, you don't have to worry about your com today. In terms of actual metrics for the test, we're going to use time, we're going to use average heart rate, and we're using Strava to measure everything. Promise that I will absolutely bury myself in this test. It will be, for those of you familiar with heart rate, it will be zone 5, absolute flat box, as hard as I can go. And I promise you I'm going to taste blood in the back of my throat. I'm going to ride the RS, the 100mm bike first, and I'm going to ride the 120mm bike about half an hour, 45 minutes later, after I've recovered a little bit. Okay, so shout out to Titan Racing, who've uh, lent us a Cypher, which is a 120mm bike, and the Cypher RS, which is a 100mm bike, both XC Marathon bikes, pretty identical chassis. Um, shout out to them for letting us uh, use the bikes for this comparison. Um, I'm just going to take you through the 120. So it's, uh, it's dropper post uh, enabled, it has a dropper post, it's a SRAM GX build. It's Vittoria 235 tires. It's about a kilogram heavier than the RS, which is the pure race version. Most of that weight's in the dropper post and in the tires, but also in the build kit a little. Um, they both have, inside the main frame, water bottle mounts. They both have flip chips, so you can alter the head angle. Speaking of which, I've got them both set up on the slack setting. So the 120 is a 67 and a half head angle. The 100 millimeter bike is a 68 and a half head angle. Uh, the weight exactly 11.47, 12.52. Uh, we've got a riser bar on the 120 bike, a flat bar on the 100 mil bike, um, and then it's 235 Vittorias versus 225 Vittoria Barzos. So that's pretty much the difference. The bikes are very, very similar. I've got them set up the same in terms of sag. They set up the same in terms of PSI on the tires. I'm a stickler for all that kind of stuff. It's it's um. They're both super capable bikes, but these are the bikes we're using for 100 versus 120 mil comparison.
So just a little bit on the ride feel, uh, the RS is a, it's a 100mm bike, um, it's super sprightly, it's really quick on the climbs, it's, you, you're not playing with a dropper post, you're just immediately on the climb, you're in the climbing position, you're just stomping away on the climb. Um, on the descents, the 100mm bike, you're, when it gets technical, you're riding a lot more cautious, you know, you've got the seat really high and the bars are flat and low, and uh, you've got two two five tires on, so you're a little you're holding back a little on the descent to to stay safe. Um, the one twenty mil bike, you can feel there's a little bit more rubber underneath you. The two three five width on the Vittorias are you you can feel it. Um, there's a bit more compliance on the trail. The bike's a little softer on the small bumps, and the riser bars put you in a slightly higher position uh, which you do feel a little bit on the climb um, and the big thing really is the dropper post the dropper post is is a is a game changer on a technical trail but it does carry weight so you've got to decide you know that's that's the trade-off of the dropper post um, the the 120 bike is far more capable than like i've always loved 120 29ers but the, what, the truth is, is that they're actually against the clock. They're far more capable than what I thought. So pretty much just looking at these times, like where the difference really comes in is uh, not on the flats. I mean, on the flats, I was four seconds slower on the 120 mil bike. That's over roughly four minutes. Um, on the full lap, as I said, times are the same. The difference is on the climb and the descent. And it, it's pretty even. On the climb, I lost, what is that? Just under 30 seconds on the, uh, on the 120 mil bike. So that's over 13 minutes of climbing, I lost 30 seconds on the 120 mil bike. But then on the descent, um, I was 33 seconds or so, yeah, 33 seconds or so faster on the 120 mil bike. So that's four minutes of descending and I was 33 seconds faster so definitely the 120 bike even though it's one degree slacker in the head angle I think the bigger difference comes from the riser bars and the dropper post um, it's it, it, it you could just attack a little bit more on the descent so I mean that's where the difference is the difference is the climb and the descent we all knew that but it's it's pretty it's it's let the difference is less than I thought it was going to be Cool, so the bottom line is you want to know which one is for you and you know the reality is, is is who are you and that's how you decide. So I think if you are wanting to stay in the top 15% of your age category and racing is a priority for you and whether it's XC or marathon racing you're, you're, you're wanting to, to move up the rankings then the RS, the race spec 100 mil bike is without a doubt the one for you. If you are kind of serious about racing, want something that's a little more versatile, might do some technical trails from time to time, then definitely the 120 is a bike for you. It's safer for, for newbie mountain bikers. Um, it's really fast. You know, if you're looking for part-time racing, not really concerned on where you finish, but you want to be able to get through the day, uh, I'd say that the 120 mil, the Cypher, is, is the one to choose. But the bottom line is, is they're both great bikes. They're both really fast. So lastly, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. We're going to do more comparisons like this in the future. And a uh, big shout out to MTO Trails, uh, Jon Kuzuk and Bennett Nell for helping us get access. And obviously Titan Racing for the bikes for the, for the day. Cheers.